Eighth grade, illustrative mathematics, unit seven, lesson 11, representing small numbers on the number line. Problem number one, select all the expressions that are equal to four times 10 to the power of negative three. To write this as a decimal, start with a four and move the decimal to the left three places. And the decimal value is four thousandths which means it's not equal to f, which is four ten thousandths. It is equal to e, four thousandths, and not equal to d, which would be equal to four ten thousandths. It is equal to c, which would be four thousandths. It is not equal to b, because that wouldn't be a decimal. That's just negative four thousand. And finally, it is equal to a, which would be four thousandths, because one tenth times one tenth is one hundredth, and one hundredth times one tenth is one thousandths. And four times one thousandths is four thousandths. Problem number two. Write each expression as a multiple of a power of ten. a, four hundredths. So we start with the four in the hundredths place, and to write this expression as a multiple of power of 10, we can start with a four, multiply it by 10 to a negative power, because we're representing a decimal. Since the decimal point is two place values to the left of the four, the exponent will be a negative two. B, 72 thousandths. We can write that as 7.2 times 10 to a negative power, because we're representing a decimal. Since the decimal is two places to the left of the seven, the exponent will be a negative two. C, we can rewrite this one as 3.25 times 10 to a negative exponent because we're representing a decimal. And since the decimal is five places to the left of the three, the exponent will be a negative five. D, three thousandths. That's a decimal written with a three in the thousands place. We can express this as a multiple of a power of 10 by multiplying three times 10 to a negative power because we're representing a decimal. And since the decimal is three places to the left of the three, the exponent is a negative three. E, 23 hundredths. That means that the three is in the hundredths place. So we can write this as, 0 0.23. To write this expression as a multiple of a power of 10, we can write 2.3 times 10 to a negative power because 23 hundredths is a decimal. And since the decimal is only one place to the left of the two, then the exponent is a negative one. We can rewrite the expression 729 thousandths as a multiple of a power of 10 by writing 7.29 times 10 to a negative power because it's representing a decimal, and the exponent is a negative one because the decimal is only one place to the left of the seven. We can write the expression 41 millionths as a multiple of a power of 10 by writing 4.1 times 10 to a negative power because it represents a decimal, and since the decimal is five, place values to the left of the four, then the exponent's a negative five. Problem number three from eighth grade unit three, lesson nine. A family sets out on a road trip to visit their cousins. They travel at a steady rate. The graph shows the distance remaining to their cousin's house for each hour of the trip. A, how fast are they traveling? The horizontal line along the bottom, or the x-axis, represents time in hours, and the vertical line, or the y-axis, represents distance in miles. In glancing at the line, I noticed that between hours 7 and 8, they traveled from 0 miles to 60 miles. That means that they're going 60 miles every one hour, or 60 miles an hour. B. Is the slope positive or negative? Explain how you know and why that fits the situation. In looking at the line, I can see the slope. On the left-hand side, up on top, it heads down to the right, and that means a negative slope. 
And that fits the situation because as time goes by, there are fewer and fewer miles remaining. C. How far is the trip and how long did it take? Explain how you know. We can look at distance in miles or the y-axis and see that the length of the trip is 480 miles. We can look at the x-axis or the time in hours and see that the trip took 8 hours. Let's double check our work. Remember they said that they were traveling at a constant rate of 60 miles an hour? Well, 480 divided by 8 equals 60 miles an hour. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.